I'm at Papa John's in Jasper, Georgia, and guess what? Joe is hungry. I got my papadilla. Let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my adopted hometown of friendly Fairmount, Georgia. We're gonna be doing a new product review from Papa John's. It's called Papadilla. Papadilla is a new flatbread sandwich that they fold over and they put kinda of looks like basically pizza ingredients in the pizza, bake it in the oven, and voila, you have a papadilla. These things come in four flavors. They come in a Philly cheesesteak, they come in an Italian meatball pepperoni, and grilled barbecue chicken bacon. And each one of these will set you back $6. We're gonna do a review on all four of them. I got them in their basic configuration. I didn't add anything to them. I didn't do anything special. It's not that you can't do anything special. You can. You can pretty much do anything you want. You can add things to them, take things away, as you can with any pizza that you would be ordering from Papa John's. Before we can start, we need to have a little Diet Coke. And I can tell you, without exaggerating, that Joe is hungry. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a quick look at each one of them just to show you what they look like before we engage in the Joe bite test. I brought them in in my fancy Matsy's Pizza Pizza Carrier so they would remain fresh and hot for everybody, including me, because I'm literally starving to death. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we get inside. And we're gonna start off with the Philly cheesesteak. That actually looks pretty good. It has a good bake on it. This is how your Philly cheesesteak comes. This is how the first one looks. They have a good char. They have the garlic sauce, and it comes with a little pepper and sini pepper, and it's wrapped in a little piece of wax paper and comes in a box. The Philly cheesesteak first comes with Philly cheesesteak, onions, green peppers, mozzarella cheese, and Philly sauce, and it comes with a little cup of the garlic butter. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. Next is the meatball pepperoni. It has meatballs, pepperoni, pizza sauce, mozzarella, and Italian seasoning. And it comes with pizza dipping sauce. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. The Italian is comprised of Alfredo sauce, Italian sausage, salami, mozzarella cheese, and banana peppers. I do like banana peppers. That really sounds good. And of course it comes with the regular pizza sauce, dipping sauce, the regular tomato paste. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. Actually, it looks pretty good, it smells pretty good, and it's really making me hungry, so I need to speed on through these and get finished before I go into some sort of a hangry eating frenzy. Okay, the grilled barbecue chicken bacon sandwich obviously comes with grilled chicken, bacon, onions, mozzarella, and barbecue sauce. And it also comes with a little cup of barbecue dipping sauce. You can see the char. They all look really nice. I'm really liking this. I like the consistency. But let's take a quicker look. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it is supposed to look like. When we'll put that back. All right, now that everybody's been able to take a quick look at these things and get an idea of what you're buying, for reference purposes, for six bucks, I'm kind of curious to see how much they weigh, to see how much volume of food that you're getting. The first one we're gonna weigh is the Philly cheesesteak. We can just pick it up and throw it on the scales, and we can see that the Philly cheesesteak weighs in at exactly 10 ounces. The meatball pepperoni weighs in at exactly 11 ounces. The Italian weighs in at also 11 ounces. 
Last but not least is the grilled barbecue chicken. It also weighs in at exactly 11 ounces. Now we've seen how much they weigh. Actually, they're about 11 ounces. Uh, you compare them to hamburgers. Hamburgers weigh anywhere from about six to about 15, 16 ounces. That's on a really big hamburger. So for six bucks, for that much volume, actually, I think it's a pretty good deal. I give Papa John's kudos for that. Okay, first for the Joe Bite test, we're gonna do the Italian. consistency the flatbread the chewiness the taste the bell peppers are coming out really really strong the onions I can't really detect the cheese is great the Italian sausage not really picking it up mostly what I'm picking up is cheese and the bell peppers they're actually kind of taking over the sandwich the flatbread I love the chewy texture I have to like tear it apart it's awesome we're gonna give this a 7.8 Ready for Joe Bite Test Meatball Pepperoni Engage. They've got a lot of meat in it, a lot of pepperoni. No way can this be considered to be short of ingredients. It is a very heavy sandwich, all 11 ounces of it. It is worth every penny you're paying for it. Now, my opinion on it, I still like the texture of the bread. It doesn't melt over time at all. It makes a very nice, robust, easy to hold sandwich. The meatballs are a little dry, lacking a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna give this a 7.2. Next, we're gonna do the Italian. Joe Bite Test Italian engage mm. very tangy almost a shade of heat in it I can really really taste the uh, banana peppers they really came out again the flatbread holds up got nothing bad to say about that the tanginess of the uh, banana peppers which I love banana peppers don't get me wrong I live for banana peppers tanginess that's almost overwhelming the rest of the ingredients let me give that another shot before I give it a number I'm gonna go with a 7 8 So we're gonna go with Joe Bite test number four, barbecue chicken bacon. The barbecue chicken bacon has pretty much everything I want. It has a lot of flavor. I'm gonna have to go uh, seven nine on this one. I mean, the crust, the edges, the crust is crunchy. I like that. Uh, I like with the barbecue sauce, it's not too hot, it doesn't overwhelm, it doesn't distract me, and it has a really good flavor. And for six bucks, you can't beat it. You can even get a little bit of dipping sauce going on here. We'll try a little bit of dipping sauce on this one. Actually, out of all four of them, flavor consistency and not being dry, my personal preference leans toward the barbecue today. Although I did like the meatball if it had a little bit more sauce in it. For six bucks, for the weight all in all this is a decent value this is something that i would order from work because of the price point and it's a little different and you can vary them a little bit i like the consistency of the bread i really think uh, papa john's got a hit in their hands i want to thank the people up in jasper for making this possible helping me out with my video i hope you all got some value out of this thing if this video made you hungry if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video. It's too late now to turn around and back again. Basically what the Papadilla is, is they've made a flatbed sandwich. Is a flatbed sandwich is a flatbread sandwich. A Papadilla is a flatbed sandwich. A Papadilla is a mother. It's worth the best, you know the 